you know about this university? Uh, well, uh, this university has got a very good history uh, by my research. Uh, it has uh, the graduates from this university has got a lot of scopes and they have succeed the what they want to read. And uh, the campus life of this college is also uh, quite favorable as well as it has got uh, affordable tuition and fees. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. And um, uh, do you have any friends who have studied at Arkansas State University? No, I do not. Don't, don't. Okay. And uh, do you have any family in the U.S.? No. Okay. And tell me, what degree are you hoping to pursue at Arkansas State University? I will be uh, studying CIS, Computer and Information Science. Okay. And tell me about that department of study. Uh, well, computer and information science uh, has got broad scope. Uh, we can usually take it as IT. And uh, after that, after the graduation in CIS, uh, we can apply or we can pursue our career in uh, system analytics, web development, software development, uh, also uh, business analytics. Okay. And so on. Very good, Iksha. Tell me about the who who is the dean of the department? Uh, the dean is named after Dr. Charles Cates. Mm -hmm. And tell me about him. Okay. Tell me about some of the prof uh, professors in the department. Uh, I I know about uh, international student service. Uh, Counselor, or counselor, yeah. uh, whose name, uh, see, her name is uh, uh, Tyler, Miss Tyler. I have uh, contacted. contacted with that. Okay, very good. All right. And uh, okay, and tell me about what, uh, when do you plan to enter your studies there? Uh, my course starts from May 22. May 22nd. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and uh, what study courses will you study this summer there? Okay, so some other bit of research to research that. How much is the tuition and living cost uh, per year there at the university? Uh, the tuition fee is around thirteen thousand five hundred dollar. Yeah. Uh, where living cost uh, around nine thousand and five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And total. Total twenty three thousand dollars. Okay. How are you going to pay for this, Isha? My parents are going to pay for that. Okay. How are they able to do this? Uh, my parents on uh, they are an entrepreneur. They own a house fitting business. Mm -hmm. House fitting business. Fitting fitting business. Okay, and um, and how much are they earning? Uh, they around they earn around uh, fifty thousand dollar per annum. Okay, and um, do you have any fixed assets, property, or savings, or things? Like yes, I have around. Uh, 50 lakhs Nepali rupees. Okay, as and how much in dollars? Okay, all right, so, and any property? No property. Okay, no Only problem. savings. No problem. But savings you have, and in, in, so we tra translate to dollars. Okay, and please uh, uh, tell me that uh, uh, are you planning to work while you're in the US? No, I'm not planning to work because my parents will take all the expenses that I want. Okay. And um, um, what are you planning to do after you graduate from the university? Uh, after my graduation, I will return back to my country and I have a dream to start an IT tech company in my own country okay. and help my family further. Okay, very good. And, um, and tell me what problems you think you may face when you go to the U.S. for your studies. Uh, firstly, uh, I think there will be a bit of problem to adapt the situation of the climate. And I don't think any other problem may occur there. Okay. And uh, tell me how you're going to handle that, the, uh, getting adapted to the situation. <laughs> okay. Well, you, the, uh, some, uh, so we'll talk about that. And then... And then Tell me, why should you be granted a visa? Uh, 
Well, officer, I am very passionate about the career that I am pursuing. Also, uh, this visa will grant that will open the door for me to go and study in US. And also, I have got strong determination to return back to my country and start my own career here. Okay, very good. And um, um, please tell me um, what um, um, what airport you'll be flying into. Uh, firstly, uh, from here Nepal, I will uh, I will fly from international to international airport. Then I will get to transit to Qatar, and from there I will go to the respected city where I was okay all right and uh, how will you travel from the airport to your university I have contact of uh, the dean of Eco uh, international student service I will contact her and I will travel okay very good and uh, tell me what was your GPA I scored uh, um, I scored 2.74 in high school Mm -hmm. And what was your uh, plus two uh, emphasis for you? Science. Science. Okay. And um, 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 and tell me, what was your IELTS score? I haven't done. Done IELTS. Does Arkansas State University require that? No. Uh, Arkansas State, according to the qualification of Arkansas State University, I have to be qualified uh, with uh, more than sixty percent in English subject and. I am qualified in that. Okay, very good. All right, so um, based on the answers to the questions that I've given you today, I'm happy to grant you a visa to study in the U.S. Thank so, you. Yeah. Okay, let's go back through it again. Okay, so you want to be, uh, when's your interview date? Third May. Third May. Run up fast. Two days. Okay. And um, and so you want to be fully relaxed when you go there. So you go, go the night before, you're having a good night's sleep and at the hotel, you relax and, and just feel good in the morning, have your breakfast. And, and then uh, what time is your interview? 9.45. 9.45. Okay. And so you want to get there at least 45 minutes. You want to be there by 9, uh, around 9. 8.45. Or, 9. 8.45. So you want to be there around 8. eight. And, uh, and so the security guard will uh, want to see your passport and appointment letter, so you show him both that. So you have your, your, um, your appointment letter, your passport, your I-20, your D-16, your um, a fee, fee mm -hmm. the thing says five things in a clear envelope. And so that quickly grab what they want to see. And you can see it quickly uh, and, uh, and hand that to them what they want to see. Then you have the su supplementary documents in another folder. That's a, that has like some color or something different than the clear folder. Mm -hmm. And so that one has all your financial records, your bank statements and everything, your, your, um, your academic record things and uh, uh, whatever else is generally required uh, as supplementary documents. And uh, so those are the main things. So, with, uh, so you have those two files and, uh, and envelopes, snap envelopes that are, uh, so you can uh, have those with you. Now, you're not going to generally have to show the second ones, but they'll ask you, do you have documents to support this about your finances? And yes. And do you have documents to support your academic record? You say, yes, I do. That's all. They're going to look at your eyes, your face, and see if you're telling the truth. And if you're telling the truth, then they don't want to see this. They don't have time. There's too many people coming. And so the, all they before they used to spend hours looking through people's things. And lots of, sometimes they're forged. You know, they're not true papers, documents. And... And so it was took too much time to get. Now they got trained weeks in tra training to see if you're telling the truth or not. And uh, so they can tell quickly if you're telling the truth. And and so if you're telling the truth, yes, I have the documents. Then they don't have to look at anything. So so uh, so uh, so they're uh, so that's they'll not look at those, but they want to know you have those. So yeah. Then number two. So you have those envelopes. You come there. You have those with you. Uh, the security guard will place, please have a seat. You'll look for a seat in the seating area outside. You'll sit down, put your bag down beside you, stretch out your legs, stretch out your arms, close your eyes, and just relax. Take some deep breaths. Relax. Take some deep breaths. Let it out. Long deep breaths. So this slows your blood pressure down, your heart rate, everything just relaxes your body. 
Start thinking of the most beautiful place where you've ever been. Wow, that place is so nice, so refreshing, so relaxed. Go to that place in your mind and just relax yourself. And start relaxing all the muscles in your body from the top of your head. Let all the tension go out of your scalp, out of your forehead, out of the back of your head. All the tension going, going, going out. Let the tension out of your eyes, out of your cheeks, out of your jaws. Let your jaws just hang relaxed, limp. Let all the tension go out of your neck. Go and go and let it all out. Let all the tension go out of your shoulders. Let all the tension go out of your chest. Let all the tension go out of your back. Let all the tension go out of your stomach. Let all the tension go out of your upper arms and out of your lower arms. Out of your hands and out of your fingers. All the tension going out. out, out. Let all the tension go out of your upper legs. Out of your lower legs. Relax. Relax those muscles. Just fully relax. Let all the tension go out of your feet and out of your toes to where you're fully, fully relaxed and thinking of that beautiful place and taking deep breaths, just stay relaxed. And then the search purity guard will come over in a little while and say, it's your turn. So you hop up, stretch out, mm. and uh, go with a big smile up to the window and they'll ask for your passport and your uh, appointment letter and then they'll give you an identification badge and then you go into the security area and then they'll guide you uh, through a breezeway to a door on the right side. You go inside, security people will then guide you to the next door. Go inside the room, the security people there. Security person will take your uh, information, your appointment letter, and, uh, then, and then he'll say, have a seat. So you find a nice, relaxing seat. Do the same thing again. Just close your eyes, fully relax, and... and uh, Take some deep breaths, and in a few minutes, that you'll hear the word Iksha uh, Gimare. Go to window number six. And so you go, hop up, stretch out, and right with a big smile up to window number six and say, Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am, whoever it is. And, and, uh, and so then they'll, they'll ask for your name, and you give your name very slowly and clearly. Please give me your name. My name is Iksha Gimare. You can call me Iksha. Okay. So, nice to meet you, Iksha. Yeah. And then if they say, nice to meet you, you say, nice to meet you too, sir. Or, nice to meet you too, ma'am. And, uh, and, so, uh, and so then they'll begin asking. Now, they're only going to ask three, four questions. And so, and so, and they're generally the same questions. And, and that they, they're normally, the question is, why do you want to study in the U.S.? And who is your sponsor? And what are you going to do when you complete the, your study? So those are the top three. And so you want to have those down very naturally, like you're talking. Your friend asks you, why do you want to study in the U.S.? There's a lot of countries you can study in. You can study in, in Nepal. Why don't you want to study in Nepal? And, and so, as well, the U.S. has the most powerful degree in the world. And, and if I study well in the U.S. and, and get secure good marks and a, and a good degree, then it's going to just propel me for the brightest future. And so within 30 seconds, you want to give the, a very positive answer why you want to study in the U.S. And not, uh, not memorized where you have to think about it, blah, 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 but just naturally like you're talking with a friend, okay? And just uh, one, two sentences, you want to answer that question. Sir, uh, the U.S. has the most powerful degree in the world. If I secure good marks and, uh, and, I, and then those skills and things that I've gained will uh, just give me the best future. So you answer very naturally, like you're talking with a friend. And then, then the next big question again is, uh, uh, then uh, who will sponsor you? And, uh, and so then you say my parents and how they're going to sponsor. And uh, sir, that, that my parents are both and entrepreneurs. Sometimes that's hard words to, to pronounce. And, and so my parents are both business people business people and uh, and they have a uh, this kind of business and uh, they have an annual income of over 50,000 US dollars mm -hmm. or 40,000 whatever it is and uh, uh, and uh, and then um, 
uh, do, you, do you have, uh, and we have a savings of this amount already for my education. So I'm fully set for my, uh, financially set for my studies. And so if you're going to ask you if you're going to work, then you say, no, sir, then I'm going to focus on my studies. So I secure good marks and, and, uh, and so I have a good degree uh, to come back to my country with. And, uh, and then finally, uh, what are you planning to do after graduation? that I'm planning to return back to my home country to use all the skills and knowledge that I've gained and uh, in the best way to help my family and society. And the short and simple, and then you can elaborate a little bit you know, how you're gonna use that, that computer skills that you gained and, and knowledge. So those things, uh, uh, those are simple. And then the side questions, they'll, they, they may ask some of the side questions, one or two side questions, but normally they're not gonna ask it. But, but always be ready, just in case they do. All right, let's go back. Why it's important to know about your department of study. So you're gonna study uh, CIS, that's in the computer science department, I think, and so, um, uh, so the, uh, or computer something department. So anyhow, so find out everything you can about the, the professors in that department. Just look up uh, uh, the computer uh, department uh, staff, computer department professors. Uh, uh, on their website. And so you look at each, pro they all have like profiles, the head of the department and other ones, and just find things of interest that you like from, from different ones of that department and sort of put that in your mind. Oh, the head of the department, he's been there for 30 years and, and he's written this book and, and uh, uh, he's written over 50 papers on, on, in uh, this realm of computer science and, and especially of interest is his, his papers on this thing for me. Also, another one that professors also he studied this, which I'm really interested in, and so uh, and so this shows again your examiner if he asks this question that you're really uh, like this course of study. Uh, Iksha, did you apply to any other universities? No, I haven't. Yeah. Okay. And so why why didn't you apply to others other universities? Uh, because Arkansas State University uh, fulfilled all the criteria that I need to pursue this career, as well uh, in this uh, affordable tuition fees uh, that this university provides. Okay, very good. And uh, and so that that's fine. How did you find out about Arkansas State University? Uh, from research. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Online research. Online research. Okay. Okay. Well, it seems to be quite popular because the number of students are applying there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, some uh, one of the students just got accepted, uh, got their student visa, I mean, and to study there. So it seems like a popular spot. And just a few miles from my Sasarali house. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, so it's good. It's a good place to study. You'll enjoy your studies there. And so let's set, uh, continue on with the questions and, and answering there. Okay, uh, so tell me uh, what your GPA was again. 2.7. 2.7, okay, pretty fair uh, GPA. And you didn't have to take it, your English is good. And, uh, and so, uh, so Arkansas State does not demand that you take the, uh, an English proficiency test if what? If uh, I have scored more than 60% in English. Okay. All right. And I belong, I belong to, I have studied English uh, yeah. from, I, I study in English boarding school. Yes, okay. Yeah, English medium, uh, I'm studied, I've studied in English medium mm -hmm. school since which year? Since the beginning. Beginning, I, okay, very good. And so that's, uh, so that's propelled you. Your English is good, so the uh, interviewer will see immediately your English is better than, than uh, the large majority of people and so uh, they're going to like that. So they're not going to ask you too much if they hear your English, but they, they may ask you what was your IELTS score, and uh, you just simply say Arkansas State does not require it if um, you're coming from an English medium school and, and, uh, and you're scored over 60% in the English courses. So good. How did you do in your English courses, by the way? Sorry? How did you score in your, your English classes? Well... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Eighty percent. Eighty percent. Okay. So that's just a. a, a, a so you just say I scored uh, eighty percent in my English classes, and and that was sufficient for Arkansas State to see that my English is strong enough to uh, pursue my studies there. Okay. Great. Everything you want to do naturally as possible 
and within 30 seconds because uh, with every question you don't want to answer more than what they've asked you to you don't want to ask answer less you want to do exactly so pay attention to what question only answer what they've asked you who will be your sponsors my parents sir my parents and uh, and so how will they be able to do this then you elaborate a little both are business people and they secure an annual income of over so much and we have a savings of this much set up side for my education Okay. Will you work in the U.S.? No, sir. No, ma'am. That uh, um, that I have sufficient funds to be able to focus on my studies. And uh, and so and what are you planning to do after you graduate, sir? I'm planning to come back to my home country so I can use all the skills and knowledge that I've gained to, to benefit my family and society. And uh, and see in the computer field. And so and as which, as you know, sir, is a rapidly developing field. And not oh. Uh, not only in my country, but around the world. So, so yeah, so great. Questions that you have for me? Uh, uh, like uh, my, for the semester wise, I on, like uh, my fee is $23. Yes. And uh, it means uh, in a year, uh, my fee will be around 40 with the with scholarship I have got. Then uh, it's uh, like if I say more than fifty thousand dollar, then what? Mm. Okay, more than fifty four. The thousand dollar for the your uh, yeah for my parents' income. Your parents' income. First of all, tell the truth what it is. Second of all, tell your savings what you have so far, and then if that's still not sufficient, you think in your mind and say we are well prepared to take out an educational loan if necessary. The, but uh, uh, we. Uh, believe that it's not that uh, we believe that we have sufficient funds without the loan something like that okay. yeah something they want to see that you're not going to work in the u.s uh take someone's job they want to see that uh, you're uh, going to focus on your st you have sufficient funds to be able to focus on your studies so you're not worried you know how am i going to pay for my fees and things so, so they want to see that so um so I always tell the students, make sure that you have the finances in place. If, uh, you know, you may have to get, uh, you know, your parents and you may be extended, you know, an uncle or someone also guaranteeing to give support. You know, someone in your family may be uh, another business person or a doctor or something that has good wages that can supplement that income. So some of our students have an uncle or an aunt or someone also preparing to, to give a good amount to help with the income. So. I don't know, but there's several different ways you can do that, but you always want to answer the question truthfully, where you, if they, they see that, oh, that person's having doubts whether they have the money or not, then, then, uh, then they're going to uh, maybe give the X. They want to see you're very confident about it. You're telling the truth. You're very confident. Sir, we have sufficient funds between my parents and my uncle uh, that we have, and savings that we have sufficient funds to cover my full education expenses. So they want to see you're very confident about it. And they're telling the truth about it. Yeah. Question. Uh, any other thing that I have to work on, like except research about like, my course? Yeah. Uh, the, the, no, you're, you're doing, your English is good, your grammar is good, your vocabulary is good, everything is, you're confident, you're just well speaking very beautifully. And so, I, yeah, I don't see you're going to have any problem with it. And so, let's just run through it one more time and then we'll, we'll uh, uh, talk about it. Because you, your time is very limited now. Mm, so, yeah. yeah. I think I have to return today because of the weather. Yeah. Okay. You head to Kathmandu. Yeah. You need to. Yeah. So. Okay. Let's ha uh, let's start. My name is Craig Phillips. I'll be your examiner today. Please give me your full name. Good morning, officer. My name is Icha Kimire. You can call me Icha. Happy to meet you. Icha. Happy to meet you. Hi. And Icha, tell me, why do you want to study in the U.S.? Uh, well, always keep the eye contact. Yeah. Well, uh, we uh, all know that U.S. degree is a very powerful degree in the world. Most uh, powerful. Most degree. powerful degree, and also uh, U.S. Uh, is also known as a land of opportunity, uh, whereas uh, U.S. is a global leader too, and um, uh, U.S. pays more attention in the. Uh, human rights of uh, for the human rights 
and these all are the sectors that I am uh, very fascinated about and I made a determination to be graduated from this country. Okay. So I made a, uh, made a decision is the best thing. Uh, or I'm very determined to graduate from this country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Graduate from the, from the U.S. We'll say. Very determined to, uh, I made a decision to graduate from the, complete my studies well uh, from the U.S. And so, yeah. All right, very good. Let's go to this next question. Yeah, so tell me, where do you want to study? Uh, I will be studying at Arkansas State University, uh, which is located in Arkansas, Jonesboro. Gen okay, Arkansas is the state, Jonesboro is the city. So okay. you can just say, I'm uh, planning I'm planning to study at the university, or Arkansas State University in Jonesboro, okay. Arkansas. Say it nice and slowly. I'm planning. I'm planning. To study. To study. At the at this at Arkansas State University at Arkansas State University in Jonesboro, in Arkansas, Jonesboro sir. Arkansas, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. So nice and slowly, so they hear exactly where you're planning to study. Okay, and then what degree are you pr planning to pursue? Uh, I will be pursuing uh, CIS, Computer and Information Science. Okay, very good, and that's uh, for your uh, your bachelor's in yes. computer. Okay, very good. And um, and then tell me, what are the tuition and living costs uh, uh, each year uh, at uh, Arkansas State University? Uh, tuition costs around uh, thirteen thousand and five hundred dollar, whereas living expenses is around nine thousand and five hundred dollar. Mm -hmm. It's total twenty three thousand dollar. Okay, and um, and tell me um, that who will be your sponsor? Uh, my parents are going. Okay, great. Are you getting any scholarship? Uh, yes. Okay, and will that reduce that that cost? Yeah. Around five thousand dollars. Okay, so it'll be down to um, uh, what eighteen, eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Okay, and your parents are planning to cover the rest of it for you. Okay, okay. very good. Do you have savings? Yes, mm -hmm. around thirty thousand dollars. Okay, great. All right, so so that's very good. So you you've answered those questions nicely. Now let's let's go to the side questions about the university. Did you apply to any other university? No, I haven't. Okay, because uh, because uh, Arkansas State University has got great story uh, uh, from my research. I found that, and also the tuition f and the fees from that university are very much affordable. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. Um, and tell me about the Arkansas State University. Uh, well, Arkansas State University is a very beautiful uni university, which is located in Jonesboro. Uh, it has got a great college life. Also, um, uh, there are other major subjects like arts, uh, computer, and business. Uh, that's all. Okay, so a, a well-rounded university. Yeah, and tell me about Jonesboro. Or Jonesville, Jones, Jonesville. I don't know. Okay, so you'll need to look up a little bit about that city. See where you're going to, to the area, what it's like, what other cities are close by, and uh, and so that will again this builds your confidence. Oh, I'm going to this place. Wow, such a beautiful place. It's got the uh, other cities close by where I can gain knowledge and and uh, interact with other students from different places and and uh, learn more about about the world and. And so, and then uh, uh, it's very beautiful. It has beautiful lakes or rivers or something close by. And, and so I'm really excited about studying there. All right. And uh, then tell me about the international students uh, uh, department uh, or international student group there at uh, Arkansas State University. About. Yeah. How many countries are in, in the student group and how many Nepalis are there? And, and uh, uh, I don't know that is it. Okay, all right. So it'd be nice. And who's the 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 representative for the international students? And uh, Miss Kate Styler. Kate. Kate. Kate Styler. Tyler. Okay, Kate Styler. Okay, and you've interacted with her personally. You uh, yes, I have. Okay, great. So uh, so the international department seems very uh, very good from different. Uh, how many different countries? So just you can look that up. But, and see it, and then you can ask any side questions to Kate and um, uh, Kate Tyler. And uh, 
about it and um, and so that will give you more information get you more excited about it too and so and then so that again they're looking at your confidence your truthfulness and and um, and so those things they want to see uh, very nicely and so if you can tell about the town you can tell about the university you can tell about the department you can tell you know the interesting things about they see oh this girl's done research on it and so they're not normally going to ask these questions they don't have time to ask them but sometimes they ask it and so we always want to be ready for it when they do yeah and uh, and so how are you going to how are you going to reach your university uh, sir that my family will leave me at the at uh, Kathmandu and then I'll fly on to a uh, uh, to the US and and then fly to um, Jonesboro and um, and there um, that the university pick me up and and take me uh, to the campus yeah. mm -hmm. university representative will take me to the campus okay fantastic okay let's go on to the next question yeah so tell me about your academics Isha that tell me, uh, what did you study in high school? Uh, uh, my uh, majority was science, and I scored uh, around 2.7. 2.7. GPA. Okay, great. And um, and tell me, did you do your IELTS test or TOEFL or any other English test? No, I haven't. Okay. Because? Because uh, Arkansas State University uh, requirement was to score above 60% in English subject. And I scored around eight. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So a quick way to say it, if you did, uh, did uh, tell me your IELTS score, you say, uh, sir, that that uh, because uh, I scored over eighty percent in my in in high school, that uh, um, that the university did not require me to take the English test and the proficiency test. Okay, that's fine. And so you can, yeah. So they every university is different, mm -hmm. and so uh, the majority still requires some sort of English proficiency test, and so they're going to may ask that question, and um, and so then the, uh, so let's go to the final question. Said, uh, tell me, what do you plan to do after you graduate? Uh, after my graduation, uh, I will return back to my country, and uh, I have a dream to start a IT tech business. Oh, wow. what kind of business? IT tech. IT tech. Wow. Mm -hmm. And help my parents. Information technology. technology tech technical business okay technical process okay so the technology technical process tt it okay and um so along with your family yeah 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 okay great and um and so tell me about your uh say what would you be doing in 10 years from now 10 years from now i will be working on that business that i am planning to with okay. my family mm -hmm. excellent great and, um, and tell me um, that, uh, uh, do you know anyone else in this field? Um, no. Okay, no problem. No. It is a, a, a pioneering field right now, so why not? And so, uh, so tell me again, why should you be uh, receive a visa today? Uh, well, officer, I am very passionate about the career that I am pursuing. Uh, well, I have a strong determination to return back to my country and uh, start my career here. Also, this visa will uh, open the door from my further study in US. Okay, all right, excellent. All right, so let's just go over that very simply and make it a little more simple. Sir, that if I'm granted a visa, I've prepared myself well uh, to receive, to, to get the visa. And uh, um, my academics are high, my financial finances are set in place, everything is ready. And so I prepared myself well. Then number two, I'm a sincere student. I'm uh, I can just I'm planning just to focus on my studies and and uh, and I make high marks, secure a good degree, and then come back and be a benefit to my family and society in the computer science and computer technology field. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you're telling three main things with, with that. Number one, your background okay. is secure and you're set. Everything, all your foundation is ready to study. Number two, given this opportunity, you're going to take advantage of it. You're not going to. You're going to focus on your studies, not get distracted. You're going to secure a good degree, and then once you've gotten that degree, you're going to come back and benefit your family and home country. And so, those three things, if you can bring those out in your own words, that that it, it makes it really good for the interviewer. He wants to see those things that you're prepared, 
And then number two, that you're going to be sincere while you're there. And number three, that you're going to come back and benefit your country. And so if those things are in place. Oh. Yes. All right. I grant you your visa today. So. All right. Any qu more questions you have? Uh, not now. Okay. Well, you've done a fantastic job today. And so, uh, so you think you'll be traveling tomorrow then to Kathmandu? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, all the best, and I think that you have nothing to worry about. Right now, the successes rate is very high with the interviews, and, and uh, as the U.S. universities are really uh, pressuring the U.S. government to grant more visas, uh, first to give more visa appointments, which those have been coming, and then, then to grant more visas, which those have been coming, and then uh, finally the government does realize that this is very beneficial for the U.S. It's number two export of the U.S. is education, and uh, and with that, that uh, brings in tax dollars to the U.S. and it also gives jobs to Americans. And so it's a great, uh, a great thing all the way around. Benefits all the students coming in to study and it benefits the, the U.S. as well. So it's, uh, it's a great win-win situation currently. So, yeah, yeah. All the best. Yeah, great to meet you today. Yeah. I'm looking forward to hearing good news from you. And looking forward to meeting you in Arkansas when I come to visit my, my, uh, Sasara Ali. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Also, also, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they are just very, not too far away. So happy to meet you and all the other Nepali students there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Anything else? Uh, no. Okay, great. Have a wonderful day and uh, a wonderful trip and a wonderful interview. Yeah. Remember, relax. Oh, yes. Be yourself. Be confident. You have a great personality. Use it there. <laughs>